Um, pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> <laughs> so what we found weird about this hole and that was what drew our attention is there's plenty of holes around is it it's just like straight yeah down, that's what got me you know and, and it so was like wet when it was dug yeah, possibly I, I don't know I probably it was I mean it wasn't like sloppy yeah. muddy exactly. anyway um that doesn't really matter uh, uh, I don't think because we didn't ask we didn't want it we just asked who um we debated whether we had information about what it was doing or whatever we decided not to ask that so um, a coyote or, or a dog or cat or armadillo or anything is going to do like a throw mound or a badger mm -hmm. or something is going to be digging in at an angle and throwing it out. This was straight down and the only animal we really felt could do that is a raccoon. Or a human. Or, or a small, human. But or human. Small little claw human marks in got there. in here with these pipes a raccoon and dug go it that in deep. the secondary dig going after something. I've never so seen a raccoon human, go that deep. You could yeah, certainly do say. that, but <clears throat> all right. So here's a hang on. Here's a good, here's a good point though. This is not easy stuff to dig in right here. Mm -hmm. A human, this would have to be a human by hand. Post hole digger. Digging this out. Digging those. those a po this is not a post hole digger. You don't see any. Well, actually, it's not, you don't have actually, actually, it's fairly soft under there. And well, here's the other thing. Guys, here, the other thing is there's a, these are the exploratory digs of, right. this, of similar animals all around yeah. here. Right, looking for like little, little crab holes to go down. And this is sort of the main central thing. Those are have not moved in like a hundred years. So did uh, you guys suspect it was trying to eat crabs? Because that was my theory. Was probably. Yeah. Um, uh, we were even talking about maybe it like sort of probably wasn't built for this purpose. How does fist mark get there inside some... the <laughs> circle? <laughs> I think so. What? There were some trucks. There's raccoons. Yeah, there's yeah, there's... human sign right there. Yeah, there's all these yeah. fist marks in the circle. There's some the raccoons down typically in the dig that deep. Yeah. That's, that's yeah, what I was going to say. I've never seen a raccoon dig that deep. That, that seems I'm unusual. I, I confess, it couldn't I did be a put coyote. my hand slightly I mean, inside the circle. No, I think that could have easily been too before we even circled well, you this, just, you know, like we were just like looking at it. and. Yeah, so yeah. guys, a coyote would come to this and in and in 10 seconds would have ripped this whole thing out, big old yeah, throw mound. Like in, I mean, like the way we were talking about this, how would a coyote reach its foot down in here and put little claw marks way in there and not, I mean, they can't grab. There's no grabbing and pulling dirt out for coyotes. They're just scraping that stuff out. And where's all the dirt well, from I mean, it? I mean, this is this is little hands is. grabbing and pulling stuff out. And we actually, and like, if you, oh, this is my theory anyway, that you each of these is like, actually, if I take a handful of dirt, mm -hmm. you know, and make this, let, that is essentially what we have here is little That's handfuls, little handfuls, little handfuls so of dirt cute. and it out <laughs> and dropping it. De debatable. That's what I think. Yeah, I, that's what I think. But, um, I've, I've seen, seen raccoons. Yeah, I have an argument too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So they dig for clams and all kinds of yeah, yeah. Stuff. Especially in banks and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and I didn't mean debatable. Like I think they can do that, but I would think of it more of a reaching in and raking up the sides. Right. But but again, just canine wise, a a plunging hole straight down very very difficult that you just don't see that produced um and even if a canine started digging at this they dig hand over hand even if they got their head in there they'd yeah, either start ripping thinking. this back out mm -hmm. or they'd start here and start ripping down but and if you think about it too this is where we start leaning into that plantigrade feet structure where animals can lean back onto their hinds and mm -hmm. dig hand over hand like bears or they're much more comfortable leaning onto one foot like this like you don't see, I mean you can see canines do this yeah, kind of deal what I was thinking but you much more often see yeah. animals do this or even better you see much more often see what um, animals like raccoons or bears being able to lean on one foot and rake stuff up using one hand and, and mess or, like feel around you know where, where is all the dirt that oh, well so that that helped me out a little yeah. bit yeah. There you go. That's Ex done. exactly That's so looks like it. so um, that i just wanted to i just wanted to work through some of that and then the other thing is that this looks much more and you see this with animals that are actually capable of doing this if you imagine a canine it would have to put both feet here and stuff its head down in here to get to the bottom yeah or it would have to reach in here and it would basically be laying its head like this and trying to dig like so. Like it can't get its whole body in here the way a raccoon could where it's got its hind feet sitting here and it can just rake down because that's literally how it's built. This is just not something you Or you're see. saying, or maybe it kind of do it, but it would be bigger in that case? It would be it would bigger be and it, it, like... it has to, yeah. it's going to fit a 
deep hole like that to its body. Mm -hmm. It just can't. They... And you, it'll be like the dog digging a bone, a hole for a bone. I mean, they just scrape with both the feet, feet going between their legs, big mound. Um, hey, Zach, you want to tell people what you found here? And... Yeah. Yeah. So when I was looking down in the hole, I saw oh, a few nice. with shorter hairs, but then I saw this sucker. Mm, so that, 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 that helped me. Yeah. Plus the, so, the narrowness and the depth, mm -hmm. the angle. And what is that sucker? Raccoon hair. Yeah. So, and then the last thing I'll say about this that Ashley, you just brought up, like this does not, there's not enough throw mound for this to all be from this hole, in my opinion. And then you also have fresher digs with something that's been clearly sort of washed out. So this looks like a multi-event thing. Like this hole has been investigated and dug at over time. That's what I thought too. Um, and that's why I went with human first. I thought someone did right. like a dig here. And then there was raccoons on top of it and all this. And what then we had- box? You know, same thing. You just don't see it. I mean, when you, see, you just don't see, they're just not equipped to go. Same thing with armadillo. You're going to get the another nice That's this what is, I first thought, and I was like, no, nah, that's not an armadillo. A, a question dig. we had while we were just walking around the other day was uh, striped skunk versus an armadillo dig. Like, what about an armadillo? I mean, not that I said that, but I'm just curious. What would it dig? They, they dig, they, 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 yeah, they're like it's these little triangular, a, like going yeah. in an angle. Mm -hmm. Striped skunk side digs. Banks, striped skunk yeah. digs are yeah. tiny. I've okay, never seen. don't do, mm -hmm. e but compared to like, say, an armadillo, a small armadillo yeah, dig. Okay. That's yeah, what we were, we were talking about. I mean, sometimes you're not going to be able to tell, but oftentimes those skunk digs are really small, straight down little things. Oh, they go down straight, okay. Oh, they can dig. They're the they pretty much are they the best they're diggers a, basically a in, subterranean they're, animal. Yeah, yeah. Like in, in but they, they don't dig straight down or, no, not to dig their burrow like they that. Go they go into the roots. And the, yeah, they're like banks. And, and yeah, you're saying this is typical or in any way yeah. for a raccoon? Yeah. I mean, this, this is a little like unusual. A, I was going to say, if I saw yeah. a human was this had done this, the, um, and then a raccoon got in there, and like this is an interesting thing for a raccoon, they might dig. Mm -hmm. And do some exploratory stuff, but the original thing I thought you thought it might that be was kind of weird. I mean, unless unless you saw turtle shells here, or there well, was some reason for it to go to go get it, right you know. There, I'm like, well, why did why did that raccoon come there? And I'm like, well, why would he dig there? that deep? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Don't know. Could yeah. it, or a raccoon going after so turtle, turtle eggs. Turtle or crayons. Um, egg laying. I mean, yeah. you do see this a lot with raccoons uncovering turtle. Eggs. But they don't usually, mm -hmm. turtles don't dig that deep. Uh, turtles aren't going to be able to dig a hole like yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, yeah. turtles, it's crazy too because they get in there and they kind of do like a yeah. scooping around. I mean, his tracks are literally right there. Yeah, in, like in Monahan, where they're digging up the water, except the river is like right. The turtles? Right. Yeah. No, no the raccoons. The raccoons always and the digging coyotes. along the banks of the like, river. Oh, yeah. and stuff. And we've seen raccoons go that no, deep for sure in sand by the river. For sure, half the turtles. Or turtle eggs, I mean. Well, That's I what we think. We think we're trying terrain. to dig at the crabs. I don't know if they're successful, but. And I think the interesting thing too is just the combination of all this sign. Like, like clearly, there's been stuff going after all these little critters, and there's this one weird, and big hole. And we started wondering if this couldn't sort of accidentally started serving as a trap. Like I wonder if yeah. the crabs are falling in there, and the yeah. raccoons started just coming down, like grabbing oh, the little thing oh, that's like in there. A little, like, a little crab be so raccoon cool. crab Right. It's like, oh yeah, let's go check the hole for another crab. Another raccoon took his survival test seriously. That's right. Yeah. 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 Y